What's up guys, John Cortese back here with you and we're going to do a little uh, exercise demo for you today. Now this is going to be in relation to the high bar back squat. Um, we get a lot of questions daily basically about how one should squat for athletics, um, how do you squat full depth especially, um, and the difference between the two. Okay. Um, so our video topic today is in relation to how to high bar uh, ATG or Astagrass back squat, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bar on my shoulders first, um, literally on my traps, and we're going to walk you through this. It's very simple, all right? So what you need to do, bar is about shoulder height in the rack, okay? Now if you see this, the bar will go on my traps nice and high, all right? If you see from the side, it's not low, like a low bar squat, okay? Putting the bar nice and high in the back, all right? And you'll notice, if you can see from the side, I'll kind of turn to the front here. My feet are about shoulder width apart, slightly wider. I'm going to point my toes out very slightly, okay? All right, now from here, we're going to focus our eyes straight ahead, okay? And the first movement is going to be shifted back on our heels very slightly, okay? Just like that, very slightly, right? And the movement, the rest of the time, we're just sitting straight down, okay? Knees out, chest up, and we're sitting our ass down as far as we can go with good back posture, all right? So I'm going to do one from the front, and then we'll turn to the side so you can see that, how that looks, okay? And you'll notice where the knees go. They go over the toes, which is totally fine, okay? So you'll watch this here. So we're sitting down, sitting down, sitting down, all right? This is a nice, comfortable position in the low squat position here, okay? My feet are flat-footed, all right? We're not coming up on the balls of our feet, okay? You'll notice... Again, my knees travel in the direction of my toes. They're not going in, all right? They don't need to go out as much either, okay? They're going directly in the same angle as my feet, okay? You can see that my feet are pointed out. My knees go the same direction, okay? And we're going to stand back up. We're going to do one from the side, okay? Get your feet set, eyes up, straight ahead. And we're going to breathe through our diaphragm, okay? Get a big breath of air. Okay? Sit straight down. Stand right back up. Okay? Again. Chest up. Hips down. Right back up. Now, I did that with a little, a little bit of a pause. Um, if you're training this as you should be, you want to go sit down in control and catch that bounce and stand right back up. Okay? Um, I firmly believe in, in squatting full depth. Uh, we are weightlifting gym, so that's just our preference. And, you know, as you sit lower, you're engaging the muscles of, of the glutes and hamstrings, um, in addition to the vastus medialis and the quads, okay? Uh, very important for injury, injury prevention of the knees, uh, especially in contact sports and even non-contact related sports, okay? Plus, it keeps you honest, right? So you hear a lot of high school kids say they can squat, you know, four or 500 pounds, but when you have them sit all the way down, it's a different story, okay? Um, not to say that the half, you know, half squat or box squat is a bad movement. It's a movement in itself. Um, but I firmly believe that the, you know, the full squat is, is the squat. You know, put the bar in your traps, and it's a good test of flexibility and mobility in the hips and the ankles. And it's also testing your trunk strength as well to keep your chest upright. All right. Um, same goes for the front squat. I think the front squat is an awesome tool and an awesome exercise for total body strength and athletic development. Okay. If you're not front squatting or back squatting full depth, start doing them and don't get discouraged if you have to go a little bit lighter first. That's totally okay. Because eventually the weights are going to catch back up anyways. All right? um, I think we've had kids come in here, we've had to drop a ton of weight off, take the weight off the bar um, and have them just work on their flexibility with lighter weight and over a couple weeks of doing that, their weight caught back up and then now they're sitting down full depth with the weight they were half squatting. Okay? Especially if you're going to do cleans or snatches, you might as well learn the full squat because you're going to have to drop into the bar anyways on a full squat, okay? It only makes sense. Now, if you're not doing Olympic lifts, different story, but uh, in my personal opinion, I think everybody should be doing them, at least the variations, and you should be taught how to do that properly from a coach, okay? So that's it, guys. This is how to do the high bar back squat. John Cortese, johncortese.com, ctsgen.com. See you later.